1 Peter chapter 3, I think we went over this a little bit this morning. Verse number 8, the Bible reads, we'll let's review this again. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. So someone does you wrong, someone rails against you in the church, do you just go and make an all-out war against that person? No. No. That's not right. There are instances, these are the instances where someone does you wrong, but what about when there isn't an actual transgression? Because right? not everything is like someone's done you wrong. It's just more, I don't know, conflicts of, uh, of personality or, or whatever, just kind of social things. Sometimes people do things you just don't like. It's not necessarily a transgression, but it's just kind of like, why would you do that? Why would you stick me, you know, like we... I'll talk about this because this is just a whole nother situation way back before I was a pastor when we were just going to church and there was someone that would like leave us with their daughter. Okay. And, and I was just trying to be real nice and gracious and okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like we'll help you out. And this was way before I had more conviction on like, no, we can't, we can't be like, like, I don't want to be put in a position of being responsible for someone else's child or things like that. You know, there's other safeguards and other reasons for that. I don't want to get into all that, but it would, it would bother my wife a lot that, you know, like, why are you kind of pawning off your child on us now? Now we got to take care of this person the whole day and everything else. It's not a real transgression, right? And it's something that we, you know, like I agreed to. But it's one of those areas where you can, it's a conflict, right? It's something that, okay, now she's upset and there's these, you know, these, these problems with people within church because I don't like that you're doing this and, you, you know, and where do you say things, where do you not? You know, these, these boundary problems, maybe some people kind of cross lines that socially you're like, eh, what are you doing? Um, you may try to ignore it at first, but it just doesn't go away. What do you do? How do you deal with that? Well, we go back to the principles that we already learned for these other more serious problems, right? Things that are actual transgressions. And let's put that into practice. How about you go directly to the person you're having a problem with? So in the situation I brought up, what we do to solve that is I go to the parents that are doing this and say, hey, we've got an issue here. We can't keep doing this or whatever, right? And straighten the matter out between the two of you. That's it. That's real simple. And it shouldn't ever have to go beyond that. It should just be able to be solved that way. But people have a tendency to get too, maybe some people, honestly, I think it like you don't want to upset someone or offend someone, but you know what? It's not worth harboring bitterness or resentment in your heart over a brother or sister in Christ, right? Someone that you're supposed to just be loving because you don't like what they're doing to you. Why don't you just bring it up and bring it up with tact and bring it up gently and not get all upset about it and humbly and meekly say, hey, you know, I, I, I need to talk to you because there's just something that's kind of been bothering me. And, you know, you may not even realize it, but we, you know, I, I want to, I don't want this to become an issue at all for us and if you deal with things appropriately, now, everyone ought to be able to receive hearing that themselves, first of all. Be a good hearer when someone comes to you with a problem like that. Don't get all emotional and upset. And, oh, I can't go to church now. This person doesn't like me. And, you know, like, have the right spirit and attitude of being able to receive. Because, if you know, like, if you love the person... You don't want to do them, you know, put them out or cause any problems with them and vice versa, right? So this is the, the overarching attitude that should be going. I know it doesn't always happen and, and no one, you know, people aren't perfect. But if you, can, if you can be on both, you know, understand both sides a little bit, it'll help the problems to go away. But ultimately, you go to that person first. 
You don't need to start even asking advice from other people because now we start doing that, you're getting other people involved and knowing about, the, oh, this person's doing this, this person's doing this. Just try to deal with the problem that you're having personally one-on-one -on -one and just talk about it. Bring it up. It's better to get things out in the open between you and the person you have a problem with than it is the harbor and bitterness, resentment, because that's going to cause even further problems to where it can get to an exploding point, right? Of just, you're kind of keeping it all in and it's like, boom, it's like, whoa, where'd that come from? I've seen some people, they had, they had no idea, like maybe they're irritating someone and then the person's just like blows up. It's like, whoa, like, what did I do? They had no idea. You could just tell me before you blow up, right? <laughs> 